Welcome to this demonstration on painting an egret nesting in the trees. I took this picture near a golf course in my hometown along a grove of trees over a pond. I am using UART 600 grit sanded paper for this demonstration and I am trying to block in uh, several tree branches uh, in the background first and it's going to be a range of many greens and dark blues to create this background. I'm going to block in the entire background before I start any work on the egret and once it's blocked in, I will also come back to it and add more uh, darker colors to create some depth in the uh, woods. Although I'm using a reference photo uh, to create these leaves and branches, my goal is not to try to copy all the leaves, but to suggest the fullness of the of the leaves and branches uh, in the background. Once I've laid down all these shapes, I'll be able to come back, uh, do some blending and add some darker shading between the leaves and branches to create some depth in the painting. So I am nearly done adding the foliage to the trees. And once I have uh, filled in the area beneath the egret, I will begin working on the branches of the egret nest. Several bushes and branches will also overlap the egret nest but this will create greater depth in the painting. The egret uses very large branches for its nesting material. So I'm going to begin blocking in some of these branches to get a feel for the size and dimension of its nest. I'm using a light gray to block in some of the sticks and branches and then I'll gradually add some beige and browns to the mix to create the nest. I have already placed many of the uh, top layer of the branches. So now I want to go in and begin shading between these top layers of the branches to create some of the darker branches that are beneath this layer. Once these are all laid out and I've begun the shading process, I will be able to add more foliage to the sides of the painting that overlap the bird's nest. This nesting area is on the back side of a pond and there are several very large bushes in front of the egret's nest. There are several uh, egret nests in this grove of trees and it's very uh, beautiful to see. So I'm beginning to uh, fill in some of the bushes that are in front of the egret's nest. And this begins to give the nest uh, a better shape. And, but yet, I'll still allow some of the branches to peek through the bushes to give it some more interest. So follow along as I add more shape to the bushes and the egret's nest.
I'm going to zoom up a little bit on the egret as I begin applying the first uh, base layers to the bird. I'm beginning by applying a light shade of gray to the bird's head. I will be using a small blending stump to blend the color into the paper. It has a small point so I can blend easily in small uh, spaces and crevices of the bird's feathers. This is a small area to work in so I do rely on my pastel pencils and small blending stumps to create the necessary shading to the bird. In addition to using the light gray pastel pencil, I will also use uh, darker shades of gray and light blue and also some slate blue to create the shading in the bird's feathers. I will gradually add the texture to the bird's body and gradually uh, use my lighter shades of gray and my whitest white to create the reflective highlights in the bird's feathers. I'm beginning to add some of the white feathers over the gray base that I had started and you already can see how the feathers are beginning to shape up and have some uh, feather dimension and texture. The feathers beneath her wing will be darker in color and I will use some darker grays and blue for the shadowed areas uh, beneath the wing. I will continue to, to use the light gray to add more of the shading around the small feathers that overlay in the bird's wings.
Now that the bird's feathers are nearly done, I will complete the uh, coloring in the bird's legs. I am using some black and dark blue along with some lighter shades of gray for the highlight in the bird's legs. It also adds some shape uh, to the long legs of the bird. Once complete, I will go back and begin adding final details to the painting and adding some darker tones and uh, shading to the undergrowth of the uh, bushes and trees. I hope you have enjoyed this demonstration of painting an egret nesting in the trees and I hope you join me for future lessons and demonstrations in the future. If you press the bell icon, you will receive notifications of all my new videos. Thank you for watching and see you next time.